Hi all. So, you know, this year, many, many aspirants for GATE 2024 have applied to the data science and artificial intelligence as per the data that, you know, uh, we are uh, expecting uh, as per the number of aspirants also, uh, you know, rose up this year. Now, uh, initially students were confused ki which subjects to target more, what is going to be the, you know, major uh, game changer in this. So, you must be aware that ISC Bangalore already some time back has released the sample paper, okay, uh, because they, they don't release any sample paper for other branches, but since this was a newly introduced paper, so just to give you a feel ki what sort of level of questions and what variety of questions can be expected. So, out of that sample paper, okay, let's have a quick discussion on the subject wise weightage analysis so that you are also assured because at the end a directional study is very much important especially in the last uh, you know one month last 40 45 days so let's get moving ahead here yeah just a second right here it is so first of all a quick introduction that you know i i, I think this is all clear to everybody this is all clear to everybody that you know the pattern is no it's not different from any other branches okay the pattern of the gate examination is the very much same okay so what is the pattern okay so of course just a second there is some issue happening here huh. so is this regular paper like all other branches computer science or electronics or etc it's going to be for 100 marks same 300 300 three hours that is 180 minutes total number of questions remains to be 65 30 for one mark 35 for two mark okay still there is the 15 percent portion of aptitude there isn't any change in that and 85 percent goes to the technical portion okay now the major thing is okay what about this technical portion of course this technical portion introduces engineering mathematics also with three chapters three subjects actually you know the three chapters of maths normally here are the three uh, subjects just a second Okay, so what are those three subjects and what can be their expected weightage? Okay, already we have spoken about the expected weightage earlier also, but this is as per the, uh, you know, sample paper released by IISC and all the types of questions will be there, MCQ, MSQ and the NAT, of course. Okay, so if you look into this, okay, if you look into the subjects, first of all, then we talk about the uh, subject wise weightage. Number one, probability and stats. As I'm telling you, this is normally a chapter of engineering maths for other branches, but here it is coming up as a subject, one of the individual subjects being very high weightage actually. Okay, having the very high weightage, slight some disturbance happening. The next of them is linear algebra, okay, and then we have the calculus and the optimization, of course, coming up into picture. So, these three are the three subjects taken from engineering mathematics, okay. Now, moving ahead to the next, programming data structure and algorithm, okay, from the computer science, but the programming is the programming in Python, not in C, okay. Coming to database management and warehousing, database management is computer science stuff only, warehousing is the extra part. Machine learning and artificial intelligence, this is what regularly computer science students also don't study while they gate preparation. Okay, so these are the seven subjects, okay, in the technical portion, in that 85% portion. Okay, now as per the, you know, the sample paper, what has been the weightage distribution, have a look into it. Okay, so I'm talking in terms of number of questions. I'm talking in terms of number of questions. Okay, some of them were one mark, two marks, but I have not classified that, but I'm talking in terms of the number of questions. So let's have a look into that number of questions here. Yeah, have a look into it. So, as I told you, probability and statistics as expected earlier also, what are the two major uh, expectations, okay, that I told earlier also, probability and statistics and machine learning, okay. Now, there are some, you know, there are some areas of machine learning, you know, of course, questions can be put in AI also, okay, they are linked with the AI, okay, machine learning is definitely required for artificial intelligence, okay, so the classification, you know, of one or two questions can be dicey, okay, some of you may say 10 here, 5 here, that's all okay. Okay, some concepts are from deep learning also, you can place it under AI also. So, it's all okay, but yeah, tentatively you get a good idea. Okay, so you're able to see 11 and 11. Okay, the highest questions from probability and statistics and the machine learning. Okay, now next you see linear algebra 7 questions. Okay, linear algebra 7 questions and all of them are easily doable by the students. Okay, I've just prepared thoroughly once. Okay, calculus and optimization. Okay, what type of optimization? There was one very basic optimization question. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll cover. See, so I am planning to take up a session on this because I personally deal with maths as well. Okay, so guys, we will be taking up a separate session on these three. All engineering mathematics questions, the solutions and discussions and this we are planning, uh, you know, most likely tomorrow. That is Sunday, 11 a.m. Like Sunday, we play, you know, usually do some stuff. So, this Sunday, uh, 11 a.m., Okay, we'll be discussing all the questions. Okay, and you know, if you're able to see, okay, these are around 24 questions only from mathematics. So, this is a good point for you. I can say roughly 50% of the paper is mathematics. Roughly 50%. That is how, you know, you can target this and score. 
okay because you know if by chance you are uh, other branch student okay not from computer science so this is what is the area where you have to play this one and the aptitude okay and if you're computer science students then also it's good for you because majorly you have to target this machine learning part rest all will be you know at least the data structures and algorithm part the concepts will be cleared for you only thing you have to go for the programming in python as per the review i got from the computer science experts programming is there but but there is very rarely the question coming up from python actually no question from python in the syllabus they mention programming in python but there is no question directly from programming in python okay but that's okay okay it's not like the exam may be nahi aayega that is just a sample paper okay so coming to this programming data structures and algorithm nine questions uh, have been there database management again computer science this is a regular stuff for you warehousing you have to study separately so from the database and management database management and warehousing seven questions ai okay four questions i'm telling you this is tentative tentative means it is as per sample paper okay but tentative i'm telling one or two questions so some some questions always are there in every branch which you can't precisely define what subject it is okay they are interlinked okay but yeah this gives you i think a good estimation in what direction you should prepare so if you are a non computer science student okay like electronics or mechanical etc your major target full detailed preparation should be here because this is normally you can score and you know prepare and score so please prepare accordingly what type of question in maths okay i am going to take a session i told you na i am taking a separate session on these three around all 24 questions we'll uh, try to cover up in that particular session okay and if you are a computer science students definitely focus this is 50% but you know data structures algorithm database management this is all you already know you have to focus ma mainly here machine learning and python okay the python these are the major area programming in python because the algorithms and data structures coming up in the exam can also be clearly linked with the python programming only okay so that is what it is and uh, you know uh, the, you know data science is on the first slot okay it's on the first third february first slot four noon slot 930 is the data science computer science exam is the next weekend so there's a clear gap one week gap also between the computer science and the uh, da paper okay so this is what it is guys prepare accordingly and also one more thing i want to add on i'll come back to this slide once again ki you know especially in the last 45 days okay you know that last 45 days are there for you now so in this last 45 days what should be your essential support okay what should be your essential checkpoint so please check whether are you doing this have you done this or whether it is still pending for you number one of course there is uh, there is no uh, uh, you know normally you will get workbooks right now uh, for this okay you'll get you can get model questions from the youtube because this this was you know this was a newly added paper okay so you don't get well drafted books for it in the market as of now maybe from next years uh, you know you start getting it okay so model questions from youtube okay google okay and uh, byju's exam prep app okay those model questions uh, you can take up to prepare the data science and artificial intelligence okay yeah you can get it up uh, easily on uh, the google as well if you search for the questions of machine learning and ai okay now a topic wise test okay so definitely you must be you must 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 have a test series okay so where topic to topic test and subject test will give you question variety and also will give you performance check of course test always give you performance check but over and above that okay over and above that i think that it can give you variety of questions as well so this is a must do if you have done this is a checkpoint this must to be done in the last 45 days if you have done some of them very very good and keep doing it okay last 45 days also keep adding mock tests for the data science and ai paper and also at the same time pyqs okay now you must be thinking sir what 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 sort of joke it is so now how i can solve previous year questions because it is going to be conducted for the first time yes i know it is so for the first time but at least okay pyqs engineering maths that you can solve across all branches of course okay of course two or three variety of question in maths okay are not in other branches i will tell you that in the session which i am telling you for maths but but at least you can do others okay linear algebra you can practice calculus you can practice probability you can practice anything i think it's good practice especially practice from ec probability practice from the ec pyq because uh, in the data science you have the conditional probability uh, sorry conditional pdfs and joint pdfs concept also joint pmf joint pdf that you get in ec okay so you can take up those concepts from here and in the sample paper also there are questions on the joint pdf conditional pdf part okay so engineering maths from here now if you want to talk about uh, you know data structures algo and uh, the database management part for this the previous year questions can be noted from computer science again i repeat ds and algo will be related with python but what sort of questions what level of question what type of algorithm they are you know focusing more okay that can be taken from the cs pyq so yes this is doable that is why i have written pyqs and this is not doable i think this you should necessarily do that's what my belief is okay so guys 
okay this is what is the tentative uh, numbers these are actually exact numbers but again i repeat i am calling tentative because some questions cannot be fixed to a subject it can be mixed okay and also you know interestingly there were some questions seen from discrete mathematics okay now maybe they have asked it randomly but if they have asked from discrete uh, mathematics okay of course you have you know to learn you know to learn the computer science okay the graph theory discrete management is always required so i will suggest you they have asked i think one or two questions were there okay so you can you know also go through that especially if you are computer science aspirant you must have done discrete maths okay other branch students need not study it okay, because time is less so you don't focus discrete maths right now because already for other branch students this is also itself a big task okay so you know one or two questions they have asked in sample paper not sure they are going to ask in the actual paper but for one or two questions don't take a hard call okay focus priority on this but come computer science can do it because they must be studying D dm uh, already okay dm graph theory logics for uh, the computer science regular paper as well okay and check on all these guys this is what is my suggestion okay so actually i wanted to tell you subject wise weightage but i think i have added some important essential support that you must really keep checking in the last 45 days see approx 45 days left for the data science paper that is the first paper to going to be conducted right so guys if you have any questions let me know in the telegram or in the comment box of the same video and also guys do comment how you like the video okay and do comment if you are looking for any other support regarding to gate preparation in general or regarding to the data science paper uh, data science and artificial intelligence paper in general okay otherwise you can also be connected with me in the telegram and you know you can keep discussing any other doubts there okay so if you like the video do not forget to share and like it up okay report your attendance and also subscribe to the channel to be aware about all such contents that i am telling you we'll have a complete discussion very very important you must have got the complete idea that 20 out of 55 see right 10 questions is aptitude forget that will be easy for all that will be doable for all okay same like all other branches but this is 24 out of 55 nearly 50 percent questions are maths okay what type of questions what was the level easy difficult moderate okay what are the solutions okay what are the AD, what are one or two questions which is not in the regular engineering maths okay all those we'll discuss because most of, out of 24 you can say around easily 20 questions are regular maths question like other branches okay some are little different so I'll, I'll present you that as well okay so this is this is where you can try to play whatever your branch may be especially other branch students but computer science we have to easily play because 50 percent speaks of the story okay but also at the same time remember if i am suggesting you so every other aspirant might also be targeting it okay so if you are fighting in this other students will also be fighting so aapko isko bhi thoda baat achche se karke chalna hai, especially the machine learning part okay for the data science paper okay you should not compromise with the machine learning part okay but before studying machine learning, it is very important to complete maths because a lot of mathematical thing analysis is required in machine learning. That is why they have good weightage of maths. Be it optimization, be it linear algebra, or be it probability and stats. Very important before you go to machine learning. Take care. Okay, guys, that's it from my side. Bye bye. Thank you. Stay safe and take care of yourself. Hope you like the video. So do not forget to hit the like button.